and welcome to St. Timothy Catholic School Preschool Parent University. Please take a moment and bow in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the many gifts and blessings you've given us, most especially the gift of your love as we prepare to start a new year at St. Timothy. We ask that you pour forth your blessing upon all of our parents, students, teachers, staff, and administration, that everything we do may be to your greater honor and glory. All these things we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In these challenging times, our mission at St. Timothy Catholic School and Preschool is more important than ever. Knowing that school will look a little different, we remain committed to the mission in addition to the safety and health of each and every student and each and every staff member. As a school with Jesus Christ as our role model, we will be committed to providing our students with a strong Catholic education while forming independent thinkers who follow his example. Within the St. Timothy School community, each child is valued as a unique individual and will be given the opportunity to meet his or her full potential. This year's school theme, preschool through eighth grade, are the superheroes for Christ. I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. It is most indeed during these difficult times and strange starts to school that we will need his strength to guide us and to protect us, and together we will be able to get through it. As we begin the school year, one of the most important things that we can do as teachers, administrators, parents, and students is to rely on thorough communication. Communication is the key as we move forward, and we are counting on you to read every form of communication that is sent to you, whether it is done electronically or through traditional mail. We are working diligently to ensure the success of this school year, and it is critical that we are all on the same play page. Most communication will come to you through what's known as a flock note. Flock note is an email system of which you will be receiving emails from me or from Amy Reed regarding preschool. You will also be receiving emails from your child's preschool teacher through the flock note system. All questions or concerns should be sent to our staff via school email addresses. No questions should be sent to the staff through social media accounts or text messaging. Teachers will not be allowed to respond through text messaging or social media. For classroom issues, we ask that you please make your child your primary point of contact. Your child's teacher is the primary point of contact. All of the preschool teachers will have emails and you will be able to reach them directly. If you should need further assistance or have questions about the preschool as a whole, you are welcome to contact me, Deb Gears, or Amy Reed, and we will help you as best as we can. This year, we're going to spend a lot of time promoting behaviors that reduce the spread of coronavirus. As always, in preschool, hygiene is one of the things that we spend a lot of time on. This year, especially, we will teach, be teaching the students to wash their hands for at least 20 seconds by using various songs and make it fun and while they learn to wash their hands thoroughly. We will also have hand sanitizing stations outside of the classroom doors so that they can use hand sanitizer anytime they enter or leave the classroom. We will have reminders for using good hygiene throughout the entire school and we will te be teaching them songs and po poems, all age appropriate to make this not so scary, but something that we teach them to do that will serve them well as they move forward. Please send only healthy children children to school. If your child is showing any symptoms of the coronavirus or is just not feeling well, please do not send them to school. We ask that you keep all kids home who do not feel well. As we move into the school year, we will be maintaining a healthy environment in many ways. As you pull up in the drop-off line at school, we will be taking your child's temperature prior to them entering the building. We will be cleaning and disinfecting the bathrooms every hour and after each class uses the restroom. We will not be sharing supplies such as scissors, crayons, markers, and things like manipulatives and games. All that will be minimized and changed to meet those new standards. 
we're asking that all students bring in their own water bottle in a Ziploc bag and their own snack this year so that it is being sent directly from home and not being touched by other people. All communal spaces in the school will be marked with directional arrows so that children can follow the arrows and still maintain some distance from one another. We do understand this is very, very hard for preschool students to do because they tend to want to hold hands and hug and stick together, which is all things that we want to teach them. However, this year we do want to teach them that part of loving one another is keeping a little bit more distance than what they typically would. This year we're focusing on family trips and we are asking you to avoid traveling as much as possible. For the safety of all the students attending school each day, we will be adhering to the diocesan requirement that any student who travels to a state currently listed on the CDC's traveler list may be subject to quarantine for 14 days upon return or to provide the school with a negative COVID-19 test. This is not to be difficult. However, this is to help us maintain a healthy environment for all of our staff and all of our students. Starting school this year will be a little different for all of us as only essential personnel are allowed in the building. What does this mean for preschoolers? It's a hard one. It means that parents are not allowed to walk preschoolers into school on the first day of school. While we have made this a tradition in the past, we would still like to make this a special event for you as starting preschool is a big deal. Parents are invited to take pictures outside of the building on the first day of school. We just ask that you maintain social distance from other families. Parents are not allowed to walk in on the first day of school. However, we will have extra staff members on help on hand to provide extra help. We will do our best to make the transition from mom and dad to the teacher very smooth and very loving while instilling confidence that they will be just fine and that you will be right back to pick them up. School-wide procedures. When you arrive, as I said earlier, we will be doing temperature screenings. We already have staggered drop-off times as we will be using the drop-off line after the first day of school. All students must be dropped off in the drop-off line. You will be receiving specific directions in your orientation folder telling you where to pull up for your specific drop-off location. Please remember that daily mass is letting out around the same time that you will be dropping your preschooler off. So please be cautious as you are entering, entering and exiting the parking lot. We ask that all parents drive slowly through the parking lot and do not unbuckle your child until you arrive to a safe stop. We ask that you are not on your cell phone at any time during drop off or pickup. And when you pick up your child, teachers are not allowed to buckle them back into their car seats. That is the responsibility of the parent. You will have a car tag and we will bring your child out to you based off the car tag that will be hanging from your rear view mirror. It is essential that you have the car tag hanging from your rear view mirror so that we can keep the pickup line flowing smoothly and so that we can have students prepared to get ready to go home. The classroom setup may look a little different this year and may sound a little scary at first. However, it may bother you more than it may bother your child. We will work with them together and teach them that we can still be one class in a cohesive class, though the classrooms may look different. During playtime, playtime will take place outside or in the students' classrooms. During playtime, students may not share the same manipulatives or objects. However, they may play with the same objects at the same time, just not share with one another. While this sounds difficult, we will till, still be teaching the children to share with one another, as this is a key component of preschool. However, we will not be practicing it here at school until restrictions are lifted. When in the hallway, the students will be following arrows and we will have one-way traffic going down each side of the hallway just to help us keep distance from our friends. As you can see from the picture on this slide, the classroom procedures are going to look and feel a little different. Each classroom will be broken into two pods. The teacher and the assistant will work with both pods seamlessly as they can transition from one side of the room to the other. However, due to the newest state regulations, we must keep the kids separated into group sizes that are less than 10. Thus, in this picture, you 
see a plexiglass partition. The students will be divided into two groups and they will have to stay on their side of the partition so that we can keep everyone safe. As regulations change, there is a possibility that this could be removed. However, this is the way we will be starting school this year. This may seem extremely different, and it is, but the teachers have been working diligently to adapt their lessons to provide the same preschool opportunities as they have in the past. Your child will still have morning circle time meetings, alphabet time, and music throughout the day, and play time so that they can socially interact with one another. The physical barrier is transparent, which will, which will assist in classroom cohesiveness. It will be there, but we're not going to let us stop from giving a top quality preschool education to your child. Many questions that we have been receiving are what happens if my child tests positive for COVID-19? What happens if my child's teacher tests positive for COVID-19? And could St. Timothy Catholic School and Preschool be closed down due to COVID-19? You will be receiving an email this evening that has the diocesan regulations for school reentry. I ask that you read the last page to find the answer to all the questions on this slide as it gives thorough answers to all of these questions and will help you in knowing our plan for how we are going to deal with COVID-19. If your child is absent for any reason, we ask that you email us at absent at st-timothy.org and please state the reason for the absent. Please do this by 8 a.m. on the day of the absent. Face masks are required. One parent from each family is welcome. However, we are asking that no students come in the building at this time. Orientation folders will be in your child's bag. There is a lot of information in the orientation folder that I could take time to read to you here. However, I feel like it would be more productive for, for you to read it as a family at home. Please read all of the documentation and please send in the necessary paperwork on the first day of school in your child's yellow folder in their preschool bag. We will be sending a flock note this Friday with class lists. This will tell you who your child's teacher will be for the upcoming preschool year. On Saturday and Sunday, the teachers will be for here for you as parents to meet so that you can feel more comfortable with who you are leaving your child with. Many questions have been, how will my preschooler meet the teacher before the first day of preschool? Typically, we have preschool orientation that involves the children going to class for approximately 15 minutes. Due to the regulations this year, that is not a possibility. However, the teachers will be making videos and sending them to you on Wednesday, August 12th by 5 p.m. In these videos, the teachers will introduce themselves and take the opportunity to tell your child all about the exciting things they will learn throughout the school year. The teachers will also show the classroom to the students so that they are familiar with what it will look like prior to school starting. As you receive this video, I would like for you to like to invite you to show this to your child many times so that they hear their teacher's voice and they see the classroom. And then the first day of school hopefully will not be as scary. <coughs> we will do everything we can to make this a smooth transition into a great school year. Working together, we've got this and we will make safety our number one priority while taking into mind our emotional concerns for our children. We are at the end of our program for this evening. If if you have questions that are running through your mind regarding how preschool will run this year after you have read everything in the orientation folders, please feel free to email me directly at dgears at st-timothy.org. I will put together a frequently asked questions flock note and email it out on Monday. If I cannot answer a specific question, I will call you directly and we can have a conversation about your concerns. Please remember our theme this year is I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. 
together, we will make it through and we will have a wonderful beginning to an amazing school year. Have a good evening.